Hi everyone, this is Yana Smakula, member of the Spellbinders design team. Today I'm sharing a feminine window card featuring a chipboard-like frame using a new majestic oval die. I'm also going to use a stunning peony flower from the Creative Flower line and also a pixie play card stuck from the Celebrations line from Spellbinders. Before we jump to making our card, I wanted to talk a bit about the die cuts that you are able to create using the majestic oval die. This set has three dies, which allow you to cut beautiful ovals when used on their own, or stunning frames when combined together. Here I have a frame. I created this one by combining dies number two and number three. Next I have a beautiful oval cut using die number two. I absolutely love the debossing on this one. Now if you combine die number two with die number one, you're also able to create a beautiful frame, and I really like that inner cut edge. And finally, I have a piece cut using die number one from the Majestic Oval set. Let's start working on our card. I have a standard A2 top folding card base created out of white cardstock. I have already adhered a sheet of patterned paper on top, and now I'm going to place die number two in the center, tape it down using washi tape, and send it through my Grand Caliber machine. I'm going to open my card base and place it onto my cutting plate, cover it with the base plate, and send this through my Grand Caliber machine. You want to make sure to open your cards so that you only have the opening cut in the front of the project. Now that I have my window cut, I'm going to start working on my frame. I want it to be a little thicker than my usual die cuts are, so I'm going to die cut it several times to create several layers and then adhere those layers together, one on top of the other, to create a chipboard-like die cut. This is very easy to do and will only take a couple extra minutes. To make adhering these layers easier, I'm going to use scrapbook adhesive adhesive sheets and I'm going to add a layer of adhesive to my white cardstock. After I cut these pieces out, I'm going to end up having a beautiful sticky die cuts or stickers. You can also skip this step and simply die cut several layers out of cardstock, then use paper glue and stick them together. I prefer using adhesive sheets for this technique as I'm able to work faster and I don't have to wait for the glue to dry, but you can use whichever type of adhesive you prefer. So I've taken three layers for my frame. You can cut more if you like, maybe four or five, or you can use just one. It is completely up to you. I'm now going to peel off the protective sheet from the layer of adhesive and adhere my pieces together to create one beautiful jacket frame. You can see this ends up being a bit thicker than the usual die cut pieces are, and it is a bit sturdier too. Now I'm going to add some foam adhesive to the back of this frame to adhere it onto my card base. I've cut my foam squares into strips to make sure they fit nicely behind the frame and remain invisible. Now I'm going to use die number one from the Majestic Oval set, and I'm going to die cut an additional element for my card. I'm cutting it out of white cardstock and I'm also embossing this piece. I also created a beautiful flower using the peony die from Spellbinders and I'm going to use the newly created die cut element as a leaf for this flower. I'm going to place it behind the peony and then adhere both elements onto my card on top of that frame a bit to the right. To add a pop of color to this project, I'm also going to use several leaves which I die cut using the leaf die from the peony flower set out of pixie play cardstock. I'm also going to add a sentiment, which I heat embossed in black embossing powder onto a piece of vellum and several pink enamel dots. To make my card a bit more interesting, I added a layer of pattern paper inside the card so that it is visible through the window on the front. So this finishes my project for today. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe to Spellbinders YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.